my babies welcome back to my channel yeah i know i've been going for like a week week and a half but it's because i went out of town for about three days and i didn't i wasn't gonna be able to film a video so i pre-filmed one but it was way too short it was like two minutes long and i was not gonna post a video like that but and i didn't even get to get my whole point across me and my friend jada was talking about this august i seen a situation and me and her kind of going back and forth like i'm defending august because because it's like she didn't look at the whole interview she don't look at his tweets so i feel like she really don't get his frustrations and why he's clapping back at people like that because i read all his tweets i looked at the whole hour long interview like i feel like i get it but she's just sticking up for what she believes in but i'm with august 100 like and no matter how much he clapped back no matter what i will always be riding for him i don't care what nobody say arguing with your mama not me as he says so i wanted to talk about it because i feel like i haven't really gotten my point across like and i don't want to argue with my friend about it my best friend about it because it's stupid like it's stupid to argue like you feel me like and i love her so much so it's stupid so i decided i'm gonna get my point across on this video i did my video before i left but it was four minutes long there's been a lot of updates since that video which i post which i was gonna made it on sunday today is saturday <laughs> Dang, it's been a mini. I gotta make this video. I'm gonna get into this because I have a lot of stuff to talk about and I just have a lot to say. So let's get into the video. I know I did my own nails, y'all, for the first time. I'm not gonna show y'all close up because when you look up close, they kind of look questionable, but they look fire. And don't ask me to do y'all nails yet. I'm not comfortable doing them on other people's hands. I'm barely comfortable doing it on my hands. So. When I get comfortable doing it on other people, I got y'all. Prices and everything will be up. I want to start off by saying I looked at the whole interview and I didn't watch it just because of the Jada situation. I watched it because honestly, y'all know I mess with Ux Racina, period. I watched it because it was his first interview in like a year or two. So I watched it and I listened to the whole album. I did looked at the documentary. So like, you know, I understand. Okay. When he said that that J Will gave him permission. I, I mean, everybody keeps saying that he's a liar. Now that Jada confirmed it, that they was messing around that time. It's just really annoying me how everybody's like, why is he bringing it up now? And when you're in an interview and somebody asks you a question, you're answering the question, right? Well, it happened so long ago, why is he bringing it up? That's just like saying, Oh, when you was a child, I heard you went in a swimming pool for the first time and you're explaining the story and he was like, well, that happened like 15 years ago. Why is you bringing it up now? That's like the same, that's literally the same thing. I don't care. If somebody, if an interview is asking you a question, you're bound to answer it. I mean, it could have been private, but at the end of the day, he is a grown man. Whatever you say to August, it does not matter. Like, it just makes me upset how everybody's like, why is he bringing it up? Because the interviewer asked him. See, if y'all would watch the whole interview, you would understand why he said something. Like, the red tape talk people was getting mad at jada and will for literally laughing throughout the whole interview everybody known that that jada and will's marriage has always been questionable i mean like everybody know it was a rumor that they've been in an open relationship for years and everybody know that when august kind of came out about it considering putting a light bulb in your head like oh oh dang like might be true when it, when it comes to these celebrities you never know what's the truth and who's lying because at the end of the day ain't nobody showing us no receipts ain't nobody giving us videos like you know like it's really nobody's really sitting down and talking about it i feel like everybody's just bsing us and, and that's how it's always been and i'm getting hot see i'm getting worked up let me turn my fan on okay so kiki palmer let's talk about kiki palmer because i had a lot to say even though i love kiki palmer i love me some kiki palmer don't get me wrong i love me some kiki palmer me and her, we're not arguing. We're kind of just having a debate type stuff, like a disagreement. So everybody puts on shade room on how I'll just clap back at Kiki Palmer. And it really wasn't no reason to clap back at her because all she said is they wasn't in her, that wasn't her man. They wasn't in a relationship and that's all. And he clapped back and I thought, yeah, that really is unnecessary, but y'all know me. I'm still ride for my dog, like no matter if he wrong or right, like I'm still ride for him. So, so when he clapped back, my friend was kind of like, he ain't really have to do her like that. And I was kind of like, well, he was trolling when he had first came back out with that. Like she really was kind of trolling about it and like everybody else. So it's not really, I wasn't really tripping off of it. I didn't even read the whole tweet. So I really didn't give a curve, but uh, like she was trolling him when he thought that they was friends. So why is you trolling? Like, that's just like me. Like, that's like me and my friend and we're, um, I'm telling 
telling the interviewer a situation or something. They trolling on the Instagram and stuff. Like, I would be mad too. I would clap back at you too. I wouldn't have probably said all that, wrote all her mental issues in her face. But, like, once you go there, you go there. Like, I understand the frustration. And I didn't even read her last text message. Let me see. Oh, I also want to say this. For all the people that said I was lying and now that Jada confirmed it, oh, y'all must feel really stupid. Like, I don't care. Like, y'all must be feeling really stupid right now. This is also going to be another thing. Who cares? Who cares? Who was sleeping with who? This happened in like 2015, baby. You know, it is nasty. <laughs> Messing with a girl that's 20 years older than That's nasty. <laughs> but y'all, like, who cares who was sleeping with who? Because at the end of the day, it's none of our business. Like, all of them probably been slept with girls, like, since the beginning of time, y'all. Like, and he even said in the interview that he was not going to speak on it because it's nobody's business like he says all the time it is nobody's business but when you start coming for his character saying oh he a homewrecker oh he's a liar like he's manipulative like i get where the frustration comes from because he's not a homewrecker even jay said that in the interview she literally said People saying he's a homewrecker and he's not because Will and Jada were literally broken up when Og and her had an entanglement, as she would like to say, an entanglement. And now everybody looking stupid, like, oh, I guess well, he's not a homewrecker. Yeah. And I really, I'm not even gonna lie, when she did this red table talk, I really thought she was gonna sit down here and lie and talk in circles like she always does. Not lie, always lie, but I mean always talk in circles. And I always look up to her as a woman. So when I kind of find this out, I'm like, <laughs> Baby, what? Jada Pink is cement? In the thumbnail, if I have on a different shirt than this shirt, don't mind it because that's the thumbnail I took last week. So I just wanted to talk about it because it was just on my mental so heavy because I'm looking at these comments and I'm literally like, I just want to go out and fight. Like, make sure y'all go stream that 27 song album because if you a real one, oh, you would listen to his album. In his five-part documentary series, like I said, make sure y'all gonna watch my last video of me of me listening to State of Emergency, and I put in a few of songs of my favorite that wasn't on the album. So make sure y'all gonna watch that, and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, all my links will be down below. All my social media links will be down below, and my last video link will also be down below. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.